Oh. I didn't see you guys there. What's up guys? It's your girl Maria Solis back with another video. If you do not know, well, I just said my name. But if you do not know, my name is Maria Solis. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So a little update. My bangs look stupid and they've grown so much. I don't know if I should just, I don't know. I don't want bangs anymore, to be honest. Everybody started doing bangs because they got bored in quarantine. And I look like every other bitch. She looks like every other bitch. Yeah. Like. I'm probably just going to do this. Oh, just this. Guys, I also want to give you guys some information. Look at my hair. It's grown so much um, in just a year. I also got my thick hair back because when I went blonde, my hair got so thin. I lost a lot of hair. Ugh. If you ever seen those pictures where it's like a blotch of white blonde hair from like falling out of your head, I went through that. I kept brushing my hair and a lot of hair kept falling out and I I did cry, you know. I was that dumb bitch that wanted to go from black hair, black box dye hair, to blonde in two fucking days. And did I do it? Yes. Did all my hair come out? Yes. Not all of it, okay, but most of it. <sighs> I was that girl that went through the traumatic hair phase. Uh, my hair is barely starting to get healthy again and did not feel as dead but i'm going to show you what i've been using a little bit of tricks i just want to catch you guys up on a lot of stuff because i do not post as much as i wish i would because i'm just a procrastinator okay so last year of april yeah last year of april i got it in bob i'll put a picture when i first got the haircut of a bob i will never cut my hair with that woman again I, I paid the lady because I couldn't see the back of my head. I got off at the hair salon by myself. Um, she did show it to me, but I didn't have my glasses with me. No contacts either, so I didn't really get to see a good look of it from the back. But when I got home, I was so... I don't know how to say it in English, but I was trasquilada. They had done my hair wrong. So I will never go to that lady again. But thankfully, my hair has grown so much. I'm going to show you the products I used. I'm pretty sure you guys... Pretty sure you guys have heard from them. It's the shampoo, the horse shampoo. I got it on my HEB. I think Walmart should have them as well. I have only been using the shampoo though because when I went to the store, and it's actually lasted me pretty long too. This is not the big bottle. I think there's like bigger than this. But what was I saying? When I went to go get this bottle, I did not need conditioner then. So I did not get the conditioner, even though I should have. Um, and I don't wash my hair every day. That's another tip. I wash it every two days um, The longest every three days you need to let the oil from your hair Come out that way it can give its vitamins. I don't know, but that's what I heard Also a detangler. I was never a really a detangler person. I thought that was stupid um, But it was on clearance this this day that I saw it so I had to get it and it leaves your hair so smooth it makes it feel so healthy and i would totally recommend this i know i got it on clearance but i'll definitely get it again this also has lasted me quite a few months even though the the pump kind of fucked up but i'm still using it so yeah that i laid off the hot tools for a while i don't wash my hair every day what else I do not take vitamins. I don't take vitamins, I really don't. So if you're not that kind of vitamin person, you don't have to as long as you know you take care of your hair, do some hair mask every now and then, and you'll start to see some progress. And yeah guys, I'm super duper happy. I can't wait to have long hair. I've put my hair through so much. And yeah, from that year, I probably only dyed my hair twice, which was black. And yeah, that was a little tool. Enough rambling, I'm gonna start getting into the painting and to show you guys what I've been doing ever since my quarantine started. Okay, so I started, I guess you wanna say a cartoon series. I don't know, I just started painting a lot of cartoon characters. 
um, I was really really bored and my sister's like you know you should join me in paint it gets your mind off of things makes your day go by faster so I was like fuck it you know I don't have anything to lose so I started painting and I'm gonna show you what I painted I'm gonna start with my first one this is one of my first ones she gave me a canvas and I painted Lisa Simpson I kind of I kind of dressed her like a tomboy because <laughs> I dress like a tomboy sometimes um then I painted one of my favorite characters from Spongebob Patrick and he's like I got three dollars so mood this hair is bothering me and I painted Rick and Morty, Tina, that's how I twerk, Saints, you know, then Bart Simpson, if you've seen the GIF, is that how you say it, the GIF or GIF, when he's like dissolving into the grass, that's what I try to do, if you don't know, I'll try to insert it if I remember when I'm editing, and I did like a collage of Spongebob. I had to throw in Sandy because I represent Texas. I mean, she represents Texas and I'm from Texas. Um, one of my favorite brats. I grew up playing with brats. Yasmin was my all-time favorite. Let me know who was your favorite. And then a power prep girl. I drew her even though I'm buttercup. I feel like I'm buttercup more. I just drew her because if you've seen this meme where she's like with a bubble gum. I don't, I don't know. I was kind of doing memes as well. But that's what I drew and then I started on another canvas and I'm really really doing this like I'm actually being passionate and patient these didn't take a lot of patience they didn't take a lot of passion they were like something simple that I could finish in a day okay so some of my people that I have on social media have seen like little snippets um, more album covers that I've worked on like on Instagram stories Twitter possibly and they compliment me and I feel appreciated so I was like why not do a YouTube video on it to give other people ideas of what to paint especially during this time where we're just locked in our houses so my sister lent me this big canvas well she didn't lend it to me she gave it to me and I decided to do my favorite album covers for my favorite artist so this is what I have so far most of you may know these people um, the first one right here is J. Cole, the GOAT. I had to I had to put him first. So J. Cole, Billie Eilish, Ed Sheeran, Drake, Post Malone, Russ, um, XXX Tentacion, um, Tyler the Creator, Bozzy, and I had to put Bruno Mars on there. Bruno Mars songs would hit so hard. Like I know some songs from him that I know each lyric. So I have this little basket. And this is where I put all my paint essentials um, that I use. Okay, so what's the things I have in my little basket are these um, trays to put your paint in. I have tape. So I use tape to tape the little squares that way it doesn't pass onto the next square and mess everything up. Basically to stay in its lane. I also got paint brushes. These, all these paint brushes, guys, were for five dollars at Walmart, and also comes with like a scooper. I don't know in case you put too much paint. This really comes in handy. I have not yet used it because I just got these brushes. Then I have this little can to put my water to clean my brushes. This water is actually dirty right now. I do have to clean that out. And my paint, 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 paint. We need some good paint. I'm gonna show you the brand I use. This brand is at Walmart. It's Apple Barrel. Um, let me show you how they look. Okay, so not a lot of people know about Mod Podge. So there's a Mod Podge, there's a gloss one, and there's a matte. I preferably use the gloss. When my sister got me into it, she, oh, sorry. My sister got me into it. She started just showing me all these things because I was not a painter. Um, like, let me show you this one. Okay, like this, for example, you see the gloss to it? Do you want it glossy or do you want it matte? Um, that is what the Mod Podge is. Like, for example, 
for example when i'm working on one and i stain the other one the mod podge helps a lot i just whatever i dirty i just take it off with the paper towel and it comes off so easily so like if you did not have mod podge it will stain it and you will have to do it again but like a mod podge is like it's like gloss it's like protection basically i do recommend this this is very cheap this is the size this is a dollar something and these are 50 cents so they work very good and we're gonna finally work on another album cover okay guys so i'm gonna start with the tape i like to put some tape right here and i'm gonna put some tape right here and you want to put it right where this album ends And then some on this side. Okay, so we got the tape done. Now we have to sketch. Let me just show you the album I'm going to be doing today. I'm actually going to be doing something like this person did. I don't know. I just saw it on Google. It popped up um, this picture. And yeah, of course, my space on this canvas is smaller, so I am going to put like Astro on top and then World on the bottom because it's going to be too long. Or maybe I can try to fit it, right? Anything is possible. I'll see how it works out. I'm just going to do a fast forward video, just me sketching it out because I don't want to make this video too long. And I'll be back to start a little painting with you guys. So I decided before I start sketching it to paint the square black so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna grab my black paint and put some on here oh disaster just putting on the ashtray did i call it an ashtray what? So I decided to cover the other pictures with the back of these canvases and I'm going to grab some white paint and sorry I suck at holding the camera and doing this oh shoot I put too much That looks pretty dope. I have an idea. I got carried away with the music. I was just really vibing and painting, but I am almost done, guys. I tried to make Astroworld fit all in one horizontal line, but I kept making it bigger and bigger so that didn't work out. I am debating to put something up here like the wish you were here. So I'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm getting carried away. It's just you go into your own world and you just escape. Okay, guys, so I finally finished. Um, don't pay attention to the Brood and Mars one because I got black paint on it and I'm fixing that. But this is how it turned out. I'm really, really satisfied with it. Even though when I was starting it, I wanted it to all fit horizontal. But that didn't go as planned. But it still turned out better than I expected. Um, Yeah, but that was it for today's video. If you have any albums to recommend to me, because I still have a lot of space. I'll be looking in the comments what album I should do. Well, what album you guys recommend for me to do. Cause I'm like totally blanked out. I do have some, like five I'm gonna do next, but I still have a lot of space even then. 
so recommend me some i'll be looking in the comments thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys in my next video Freezing down! Freezing down!